Hey y'all, I'm Val from Our Forever Farm. We have had a day, buddy. My girls usually get up on Saturday mornings and go to yard sales and I've been going with them every Saturday. It's so much fun, it's better than shopping anywhere. And so we got up at 5.30, I met them at 6.30, we've been on the road all day. Some of them came back with me, we cooked out hamburgers uh, and hot dogs and had a little strawberry shortcake and and now they're out fishing riding bicycles playing ball i don't know what all they're doing i am going to whip up some sausage balls for breakfast in the morning so i have grated my cheese part of this is grated like the chunk cheese and part of it i had just a bag full of shredded cheese but i need four cups of that i'm going to use a pound of sausage so each one of these are a pound i'm going to use half half hot half mild and this is my homemade bisquick and I've got, i'm going to use four cups of this and we're just going to mix this together make sausage balls real quick for in the morning's breakfast and then we're going to cook a little bit of sunday's dinner if we'll get to it so i'll link the video to this homemade bisquick in the description box below I'll also put the recipe for the cheese ball, the uh, sausage balls, I can't talk. It's been a long day, y'all. But I'm gonna try to get this done while they're outside fishing and doing everything they're doing. Let's get to cooking. So what I'm doing is I'm just cutting one half of the hot and one half of the mild. You, If you don't like the hot, you can just use mild, a pound, and now I make my sausage balls with a little bit of a twist. So I'm just gonna put these in here. These were frozen and I asked Sweet Hunter to get them out of the freezer a couple of days ago. So they've been in the refrigerator. I set them out and got them almost to room temperature. It's easier to work with if you do that. So we're gonna do this. And then I'm gonna put these up. All I'm gonna do, I'm just guessing that this is four cups of cheese. I go by the recipe, just like the Bisquick you buy in the store, I go by that recipe for the base. I'm adding a little twist to this. So I'm adding the cheese. I'm adding the Bisquick. I'm gonna add just a little bit of milk for the liquid, about a fourth a cup. And then I like to add parsley flakes or anything like that. If you like certain spices, you can add them. I just do it for looks. So this is sausage balls with a twist. And then I'm just gonna mix these together. This is such a quick little thing to do on Saturday and uh, where you'll have your breakfast ready in the morning. You can freeze these. I do that a lot, but I'm probably just gonna share some with the family and you just want to mix it up really 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 good and then you're gonna make uh, little round sausage balls with them we're gonna preheat our oven to 350 and this that'll be ready for this to go with. so it it takes a lot of arm power and it takes a lot of mixing to mix this up and you want to mix it up really really good now I add just a little something else. Hold on, let me get this mixed up really good. You want it where you can form the balls. And like I say, it's messy. Um, these gloves do not fit me, so it makes it harder. But you want them to where this, you don't see any of the powder and it just forms a ball. You can kind of see that, I think, like this. Okay. One thing I do add sometimes is barbecue sauce. I just do it for the taste. They're not gonna taste like barbecue. Let's see if I can do this without getting the bottle messy. And I add just a little bit. And that's just to give it a sweet, this is a sweet, that sweet baby raise, a sweet taste. And then you just mix it all up and get it all in there. And that's just a little more liquid to add to your sausage balls. It makes them really, really good. Also, uh, I added the milk. If you need more milk or more liquid, you can add more barbecue sauce or you can add more milk, either one, to get it 
to this consistency. So this is ready to roll into balls. I like to uh, use just my hands with these and roll them out. No gloves because the, the gloves get on my last nerve. So all I'm gonna do is just roll these up into the size of ball I want. I don't want them too big and I don't want them too small. Some people make them, um, some people make them like biscuits. My brother-in-law, he makes them every Christmas morning and that his are delicious and he makes them big. They are delicious. So. So here's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get our t where our Sunday dinner will be ready. Our breakfast will be ready. I wanna take a little bit off of that. I'm wanting these bite size because I'm sharing them with everybody. So I'm gonna continue doing this and we'll be back when it's time to put them in the oven. So if you're worried about these sticking on your pan, you can use a spray pam or a short, you know, use a little shortening or oil, or you can use parchment paper. That works great too. Okay, I've got three pans ready. I did all these. The trick to these is having enough liquid in them, but not too much. So I've got all these done, and I'm going ahead and cooking these tonight where they'll be ready in the morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in first. Now, if you wanna stop right now and freeze the rest of these, you can freeze them right on these cookie sheets, drop them in a Ziploc bag, pull out what you want every Sunday morning, but I'm gonna share these. So I'm gonna put these in an oven preheated to 350. So I set my timer to 25 minutes, but it may take a little bit longer. Now, as you can see, some are small, some are bigger. Uh, they're different sizes. And look who's here, come in. Y'all come in and say hey. So look what I'm making, sausage balls. You like them? Yes. All right, this is, this is Asher, Huddy, little yeah. Huddy. Everybody knows Huddy. Uh, okay. So, all right, y'all get tired of fishing? Never fish. You didn't fish? What'd you do? Ride skateboard. Rode the skateboard? Okay. All right. I'm going to finish this. Your phone's ringing. <laughs> He's got a new ringer on this phone. This is. So, um, okay. I'm yeah. gonna, I've got the first pan in. I'm, and like I say, you can right. freeze these right now and put them in a Ziploc bag. Or you can just cook them all like I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do tonight. I want them all ready and I'm going to share them with the family. While those are cooking, I thought I'd come on here and show y'all some of the things I got at yard sale. I just love them. I think they're beautiful. These are ball jars, and they were set up with on a coffee bar. I love the ball jars. I've got labels, and I've got chalk paint, so I can put in those what I want. But I found this, too, for my coffee bar when I get it fixed. So I'm very excited about that. So here's just a few more things wreath holders i got two of them which i've got two doors i need wreath some and let me see what else hold on i was just about to pull all the um, tags off these so these are pioneer woman just a bunch of utensils aren't they pretty i love them so that's just a few of the things we got so I told y'all that I'm getting things ready for Sunday. The kids come over on Sundays and we eat lunch. Uh, we don't do it every Sunday, but we do it most Sunday. So this is a ham bone from Easter, and this is just some scrap ham left over from the ham, you know, that he cut and we didn't eat. I've put my white beans in both crock pots over here. I soak them all day in water. I wash them really good. I'm going to put these in one in each of the crock pots now. And then I'm going to salt and pepper them real good. I'm going to turn them on low. There's people everywhere. Uh, I'm going to turn them on low and I'm going to uh, let them cook all night. So I'm excited about that. We love white beans. We're going to have white beans, uh, macaroni and cheese, mashed potatoes, cornbread, and then 
uh, on the next video, you'll see our main dish. Hey, Miranda. You're on camera, you're on video. <laughs> Did you catch anything? I barely fished. I was so tired when we got up. I'm so tired too. I was telling everybody on YouTube how early we got up yes. and what all we've done. I showed them a few of the things I bought. Well, we got some good deals. Whoops. So I'm just laying that in there. Now there's a lot of salt in this ham, so you don't want to salt your beans too much. And you can always salt them the next day. So, I'm adding that to that one. And now I'm gonna wash my hands, add some salt and pepper. Uh, not much salt, but more pepper. Turn them on low to cook overnight. forgot to show y'all this. Isn't that pretty? It says joy and it matches my appliances. So I know it's Christmas, but I'm using it anyway. I said I was going to make this dish uh, in the next video, but I decided to go ahead and do it now since I have a helper. So Sweet Hunter grilled four chicken breasts and they've been in the refrigerator overnight and we are going to cut these up. We're going to chop them up and well, there's five here, but we're going to Chop them up. I guess I could get them, I could do you one at a time, right? Let's do one at a time. That might be a little overwhelming. And I was gonna use my Nakano knife, but I'm a little bit scared for him to use that. So let me get just a simple knife. Take two, right? <laughs> so, all right, I showed him how to cut the fatty part off. And I showed him how to just start slicing this. This is not a sharp knife, but I don't want him using a sharp knife. Normally, I would use my Nakano knife. I've got it right here. And if he gets tired of doing this, we'll, uh, we'll use it and finish up. So, uh, you want to go ahead and start cutting that up? Sure. Okay. Hey, Davis. Hey. You're on video. You want to come over and say hey? You can cut it a little bit smaller if you want to. What's up? You're so tall. Hold on. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> okay, let's get back down there to Asher. You're doing a good, good job. Real good job. So I'm watch your fingers and don't cut them, okay? So we're making we're making poppy seed chicken it's from Linda's cookbook once again, and she told me that her family loves this chicken. Now. In the recipe, it says that they boil it and cut it up. But Sweet Hunter was doing steaks the other day, and I said, we just go ahead and grill this because I just thought that would be delicious grilled. So all they did was olive oil and salt and pepper. You're doing good. You're doing really good. Okay. Do you do this at home? My first time. This is your first time? Mm -hmm. Well, you're doing good. And once you get all that done, we'll just chop these up in smaller bite-sized pieces like you're doing right there. That's good. So I truly believe in teaching your grandchildren, boys and girls, how to cook. And I'm thankful they want to. So my sausage balls are done, so I'm going to get them out. He's chopping the chicken up. He already did one whole chicken fillet, so that's good. I just sure. realized that was one. Looky, looky here. Like Don't that look good? There's our sausage balls. I almost got a little too brown. I'm going to set them over to cool and I'm going to put the other two pans in. Woo! Uh, Alright, I set that for 25 minutes too because um, that's all it took was 25 minutes on that. So, all right, you wanna do the rest or you want me to do them? All right, let's get a bowl and put this in. Do I just put it on my hand? 
Yes. Do it with your hands. And you want to tell everybody you did wash your hands really good, didn't you? Yes. Okay. Had to do it twice. Had to do it twice. That's right. There's a gnat. Mm -hmm. Alright. Now we'll get you out another one. And just remember, this is the fatty part. We're not going to use it. So. So like that's fat. Yeah, if you see any fat, just cut it off. Okay? There's a gnat. So, spoiler alert, you have to try this casserole. It is delicious. What, darling? See, I can't wait till I can use a bigger knife. What? You can't wait till you can use a sharper knife? Yeah. Yeah, I was just scared to let you since this was your first time. You might want to turn the chicken. It might cut better like that. So, what you need for this recipe is four chicken breasts. And I grilled them, but they boiled them and cut it up. And then you need two cans of cream of chicken soup, 16 ounces of sour cream, two teaspoons of poppy seed, some Ritz crackers, a sleeve of which Ritz crackers, and a stick of margarine. So what we're gonna do while he's doing that, I'm gonna mix up soup, sour cream, and poppy seed together. So you're doing good. You've done two fillets. Just don't get that fatty part. All right, you wanna put the Huddy. Huddy, say hey. Huh. So Huddy wants to help. So we're gonna add this soup. You can pour it in and just scrape the can into this separate bowl. That came out good, didn't it? Yeah. Let's see if I can get y'all in the camera more. And then you're gonna add That is cream of chicken soup. Oof. And it said to use two cans. That's good enough. Said to use two cans. And um, I had a family size can. So now we're going to add the sour cream, which is 16 ounces. Just put that in there. This is a small chicken breast. Is it? Yeah. So I'm already halfway through it. And that's all. Okay. All right. And then we're going to add. I hope you're playing the guitar, Davis. Mm hmm Yeah. You're doing good. Thanks. All right. And then I'm going to add some poppy seed. It says two teaspoons. This is a, Linda told me this was a very easy recipe. And it is. It's really easy. So he's going to stir this up. Mix all that up. Davis, why don't you use the ice cream dipper? Is that okay? Are you doing okay with that? No. Here. I think the ice cream dipper somewhere here. I think it is. up there. Should be. Yeah, right there. All right, you're doing a good job. Asher's still cutting up the chicken. Davis is getting him some ice cream. <laughs> right, I'm Davis? Yeah. What flavor is it? It's uh, vanilla, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Can I get me some? Got to get you some? Mm -hmm. sure. You want to take a break? No. It's fun. So we have four grandsons. We have Brett, which is the oldest. How old's Brett? 21? 21, I think. 81 years old. Davis, how old are you? 15? Yeah. Asher? 12. 12. Eddie? 9. 9. So we have four. So all of them's here but one. Uh, Brett will be here tomorrow. I doubt he'll be cutting up chicken and mixing food though, right? Yeah. No, he'll be on his phone. Yeah. All right. And Pops will just be scrolling on Facebook. What's she doing right now? Sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good though. Well, that looks like a chicken head. So I hope you watch this to the end because we're going to show you something that Linda sent us in the mail that was so dear to my heart. Not only does she share her recipes, but she surprised us with the sweetest gift. Wow. 
Wow. That's what I'm going to do next time. That is smart. I'm going to send it to you. Was you pretending to eat it? You think you'd like that? I don't think you would. It looks like off-brand ranch. Yeah. I don't. I'm just joking. All the same size kind of. Yeah, you want me to do it? No, I didn't do it. You gonna do it? Okay, you're gonna finish that. Uh, Hetty, you want a taste of a sausage ball? Yeah, I want a taste. Okay. Youngest goes first. Let me get, let me get a fork. Girls first. Kind of sick, I didn't spray this. So I was doing to all my friends. Like Glenn, when he gets in the car with me, I've got a ladies first. <laughs> Come here. You gotta do a taste test for him. Look. Is it good? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Alright, after I got yours, whenever you... Well, you need to finish that and then wash your hands, okay? After this chicken, can I wash and then try it and then cut again? Yeah, I'd rather you go ahead and just finish that. So next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crush these crackers. I think I'm gonna get three. These are those little fresh stacks. So they're small. I'm gonna get three packs of these and I'm gonna crush them up and then I'm gonna melt this stick of butter, mix them together. The whole thing? This top half? You think it's all fat? Yeah. I don't know. It looks like meat right there. I, mean, I think right it's here. just that part right there. Just cut that part right there off. So I'm gonna stick this stick. I'm gonna stick this. Look, Hattie's cutting chicken too. You did wash your hands, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I what? washed my hands before I did that. You what? I washed my hands before oh, I did that. So left-handed. Hmm? You're not left-handed though. Mm -mm. Why are you doing it left-handed? Because I don't really go like that. Hattie's left-handed. Because I don't want to go like that. No, I'm not right-handed. I'm going to melt this stick of butter. No, I'm right-handed. Um, but my dad and dad and mom are left-handed. Oh, okay. Then how are you right? I don't know. Just let me have Because I, I write with this hand. Some stuff I do. Is I don't know why I thought. So, oh, okay. I know when we were sitting at the table, some people commented that there was three people left-handed. It was Papa, your mama, and your daddy. And I was thinking it was you. Some stuff I do is left-handed, though. Really? Yeah. Like a frisbee riding a skateboard, I do it. Yeah. What about like batting and ball? Right. Yeah. You use the right, right hand. That's how you should do it. Be really careful, Hoodie. I'm gonna cut this little chicken off and do it. Just, what I did with the Ritz crackers is I just put them in a Ziploc bag and I'm just crushing them, and that's all I'm doing. Y'all know how to do that. But you'd like to do this, right? I mean, sure. But you want to know an easier way? What? Roll them in or roll them up? No, um, actually, you can take a glass, like, cup oh, and yeah, on it. yeah. That's how we do it. But you want all these crumbs to be really, really. How y'all doing? Good. So what do y'all think about Granny and Papa being back home? Good. Great. 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 I don't, it's not good. It's great. No, great. No, it ain't great. It's amazing. <laughs> amazing. Dude, I love y'all right. being here helping me. You know, I probably have to get four. I got that one up. So you come up here and, sh and tell them what you think about it. Can I have an apple? Yeah. Well, you'll have to wash it though. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Tastes just like Arby's. It's perfect. Oh, really? What a bikini. Yeah, I've never eaten Arby's sausage balls. Okay. I'm it's gonna actually get... like really good. Like really good. Really good? I eat this for breakfast tomorrow. Oh, yeah. You can take some home. So I got two more pans in the oven. So I'm cleaning up this mess and then we're going to put this casserole together. Mine. Take about 10. <laughs> You're so funny. So what we're doing here. Hey, Asher, pull the camera up a little bit. I have to bend down for them to see me. But I don't want to do it too much because I want them to see what I'm doing. So, perfect. This casserole is really easy, y'all. It just took us a little bit longer because we had helpers, and which I love. 
And all I'm going to do is just mix the butter with the um, cracker crumbs and just, you know, get that butter mixed in really, really good. So, so you like the sausage ball? Love it. So the sausage, the other two pans have about seven minutes left. So I'm going to set this aside. Now we're going to get... We use the same casserole dish every time we cook, but it's good. So, I'm gonna mix the chicken. She's what? Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna mix the chicken and the soup mixture, soup and sour cream and poppy seed together. And I'm just gonna stir it up. What do you think, Miranda? 25 out of 10. <laughs> They're really good. I did sausage balls with a twist. What'd you do? Barbecue sauce. I knew I was so sweet. Yeah, it's that sweet, sweet baby rays. It is. So sweet. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, yeah. All right. So really, from what I see, you just add the chicken and you mix all this together. Add that together. See what it looks like. And then we're going to pour it into the um, casserole dish. You want to help me? You get the spoon. Scrape it out. We're going to put that in the casserole dish. Hey, Granny. Can I have another sausage ball? Yeah. Get anything you want, honey. Let's see if I can get the rest out. I do. So I can take all the money and the Hey, Asher, get me that uh, white rubber spatula. That will be better. You like them? Oh, they're delicious. Well, good. Yeah, that's what your Sunday morning breakfast in the morning. That's what mine is. Yeah. Can we stay here today? As, you'll have to ask your mother. Mom, can we stay tonight? What? Please. Please. But what? But what? Can we bring honey? I love these kids being here. I love it. I'm just spreading this out. Oh, this is so good. Give it for her. Yes, I can. It's a free I'm country. glad you like them. It's a free country, woman. It's a free country. You can get all the sausage balls you want. Well, you know, Mike makes them real big. Yeah, I love his too. All right. So now all I'm doing is sprinkling this over the top of the casserole dish. Asher, will you come and read what it says, what temperature to put it on and cook it in? Now, you know, the chicken, yes, the chicken's cooked. So it's that poppy seed chicken. So it'd be right at the end. 350 for, 350 for 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, so 350 for 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, but what I'm going to do, because this is tomorrow's lunch, we are going to uh, just cover this up and put it in the refrigerator. Remember, we're having sausage balls for breakfast. We're having white beans, macaroni and cheese. <laughs> we're having mashed potatoes, those mashed potatoes you like. Yes. And we're having this chicken casserole. Poppy seed casserole. No, poppy seed chicken is what they call it. So, before you go, let me wash my hands, and I've got something to show you. So, Granny's friend, Linda, provided her with a cutting board, and it says, New home, new beginning, new memories, our forever farm, Val and Sweet Hunter. It is beautiful. So, can you take it over there and show them a little bit closer? Good uh, job, Linda. Yeah, Linda, the one we're doing all the recipes. Can they see it? Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? That is so beautiful. Okay. Uh, the one we're doing all her recipes, and I love her little cookbook. She sent that to me in the mail with a custom card, and I'll put that up somewhere, but it's a custom card. made, And all this was made just for me and Sweet Hunter. I love it. It's beautiful. All right. We're going to cover this up. We will put this in the refrigerator, and we'll cook it tomorrow. And we'll let, you, we'll let you know how it looks. Oh, yeah. Let's, let me get over here and show them. See if I can do like you did and show them a pretty picture of this. It looks delicious. It does, don't it? 
So Linda, we cannot thank you enough. This is beautiful. Y'all, this is poppy seed chicken. The recipe will be where? On your YouTube. In the description box. Say below. In the description. Description below, not description. That's right. Description. Hey, and Huddy, do your thing. What thing? The like. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share with all share. <laughs> share with all your friends. Okay. Look at this. I can't wait. We'll let you know how this is. I know it's gonna be delicious. Poppy seed chicken. So thank you, Linda. Linda. And y'all go, go cook, cook something. something. I love the verse in the Bible that says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and he will not depart from it. Now, I know that's talking about serving the Lord, and that gives me so much hope. But I think it also could mean spending time with a child and playing some kind of part in his life. I know these two little boys are going to grow up and be good husbands one day. Thank y'all for watching.